Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So uh, as you're all aware, we have been doing a web pen testing uh, series, right? So what are we learning in this web pen testing series? We are actually learning multiple techniques, what attackers would deploy for cracking into applications. Not just there, we also get to know what all attacking techniques exist. And as we get to know what all techniques exist, we also learn what are the defenses that we can put in place to make sure these attacks don't succeed, right? So first, we have to believe that we have to understand how an attacker works even before we give solutions or we start preventing it, right? So that's exactly what we are doing. And uh, the interesting part here is we are trying to map each and every challenge that we are doing with the OWASP top 10 and SANS top 25, right? So right now I'm going to the web hacking challenge. Right now I am in challenge number 11, right? Or the level 11. Level 11 already falls into the stage two, right? As you're all aware, stage one was very easy, simple, to clear uh, you know uh, levels stage 2 usually becomes a little intermediate like little moderate attacks so uh, let us understand how this particular challenge can be cleared so i am in challenge number 11 there is a password.rar file that i've just got downloaded and uh, it looks like a compressed and the only way to decompress it is using a password that is a four letter Mughal king. Okay, now I am actually opening this file, trying to open this file and it's popping up asking for a password, right? As simple as that, which means that this is a password encrypted file. To open the file and read them, we need the password, right? Okay, now having said it's an encrypted file, right? So what is that we have to do? We actually have to crack the password, crack the password of the particular RAR file that is, RAR is also a packaged or a compressed file. Now, thing is very simple. There are multiple methods of doing it, but I'm going to take the easiest route possible here. So there are applications like John the Ripper, okay? There are applications like Hashcat. There are applications like Fcrack, right? There are also applications like Crack Zip. These are different popular applications that are available uh, as a part of your pre built utility with your Kali Linux also. Right? So, these are applications that are usually used to uh, break or brute force your existing compressed file formats. Right? Okay. Now, we are in challenge 11 and we have downloaded it, but before I do anything, I'm going to search for online RAR password extractor or cracker, whatever. When I do that, there are multiple files uh, or the links that I'm getting, right? So let me go to the file like this. Okay, so it says easy zip. No. There is another site which shows like this. But let me tell you, there was an online file password crack yeah this is the site so you can make a note of the site it says lost my pass right what i do is i click on this file i select the file i just downloaded and as soon as that is done, look at this, how cool is that? It says the password is recovered and this is your password. And what is the password? The password is alum. Let us see if it works. I'm just saying a wrong password to make sure it's not working. Now I'm saying the alum. Beautiful. So I actually got the access to the file by opening the file with the decrypted password. How cool is that, right? Now, please pay attention. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to help you understand the background of how this whole thing works. First, I give a file. This file is an encoded or encrypted file, which is a compressed file format. 
so you have a zip file you have a rar file these are all popular compressed file formats so this file actually contains another file like a txt file or something of that sort which is encrypted with the password right so primarily what you need is you need to have application like john the ripper or uh, hydra or uh, you know utilities like that hashcat and so on which identifies what is the encryption format what is the encoding format that's used inside these files right so very simple you can use uh, the popular tool called john to rar right it's a, a very popular tool or you, i i think it's called rar to john yeah it's called the rar to john right uh, so it's a default utility with kali linux and uh, what happens is you have to just say rar to john r a r to john space put the file which is the encrypted password protected file and uh, greater than symbol the hash.txt when you do that the hashes is extracted from this file and stored into a new file called hash right hashes.txt so the encrypted file contains hashes which are in, uh, extracted and put it in another file all we have to do is brute force that particular hash and get the password that simple right for which there are utilities like uh, thc hydra uh, hashcat and so on and it's a very simple one liner command with which you can crack it you, you all you have to say is uh, john uh, space hyphen hyphen format equal to zip space file name the hash file name and enter it's going to take a while to crack the file by brute forcing it and giving you the right password and you can also do dictionary attacks you can also do uh, hybrid attacks to make the uh, time of breaking the password much shorter right which we'll discuss a little later on but yes this is what we wanted to do uh, but let us read what this particular file says it says godavari is the second largest whatever right now i go here i type in godavari as the password no let me try alum as a password first here it did not work it's still in the same page which means it's a wrong password now all i do is i say godavari submit beautiful right how cool is that so we have successfully cleared this particular challenge here in this particular challenge we understood how a particular file is encrypted encoded and then we download this encrypted file with the password protected file decrypt it by using some techniques and uh, uh, identifying the right password right as simple as that so in case you like this content in case you think someone needs information like this consider sharing and subscribing thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity